Hey everybody, Tom Barnes, right off the California Blue Line stop. It is Stories from the 78, and the story today is at this place right behind me, Union. They are the ones that started the Logan Square Beer Week. Uh, the owner, Steve Lewis, started the whole thing. Nine total breweries where people get to sample all the awesomeness that is Logan Square, because there's a lot of breweries right here. I mean, there's nine of them on this, so I'm not gonna check out all nine of them, I'm gonna talk to them about who's participating and all that fun stuff now for stories from the 78 so let's go inside and enjoy a little logan square love shall we all right since march of this year union has been open and it's this gentleman here steve lewis who is the uh, founder of the bar how you doing sir doing all right today yeah can't uh, it's beautiful weather we got cold beer and uh you're, we're right here ahead of the uh beer week here in logan square that's something that you kind of spearheaded so why don't you talk about that and what goes into that whole thing sure well here at union uh we have 24 drafts uh predominantly all chicago beers we do some midwest and some great lakes um but i kind of noticed that, that as we're building our list each week and each month and going over changes i'm putting on a ton of stuff from our friends in logan square and you know the thought kind of popped in like what better way to just champion in all the great beer that we're not only that chicago's making but specifically here in Logan Square and like what people are doing, the, 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 the creativity, the innovation that, that folks are putting out it, it, with beer, um, it's, it's, it's something to be proud of and I'm proud to be able to serve you know, all these great brewers and so why not have a week that just draws all that attention that uh, we can showcase, you know, some amazing uh, beer from our friends, and then uh, you know have uh, a celebration all week long where there's different events each night at uh, each of the breweries. Yeah, and I think that's really great that uh, highlighting Logan Square specifically, just because I feel like it just kind of just started to happen over the years where Logan Square has become like one of the hottest neighborhoods in the country for craft beer, and it's really sure. showcasing Chicago. It's always been a, a you know a food focused neighborhood, a, a late night. Night, you know, a, a nightlife type of neighborhood, um, and more so, you know, great brewers are, are putting up roots here. Um, you know, the OGs of Revolution being here in the neighborhood, and then uh, you had Maplewood kind of coming in, um, Hopewell, and then some some new friends with Mars, Orknoy, uh, Ravinia, Solomoth, Middlebrows doing great things. Um, we just got a lot of a lot of people doing some really fun stuff, and uh, yeah, I think that not only is it kind of putting Logan Square as a neighborhood on the map, but it's 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 ushering uh, a, a better sense of what Chicago does best, and it, that's beer. Right. Yeah, and I think that your uh, new bar here kind of encapsulates that. You have your uh, the food menu here, it's, uh, cocktails, beer. You showcase it all. And that's one of the stops that people can do to check out all the beers in the neighborhood. But if they want to go on a little tour, you're encouraging that for this beer week with your passport, your beer passport. And then you have certain things for every day. Sure. So we're doing a kickoff party on Monday. So we're doing the launch party. I'm having uh, nine drafts from all of our Logan Square participants. So we'll have some really fun stuff, some rare stuff, some squirreled away things, um, some special allocations, some stuff that won't, you can't find anywhere else in the city. We'll be pouring those on Monday night. Um, and then folks will be able to pick up a pass. Uh, well, let's see that fancy sure. passport. It's right there. Passport. My uh, good friend of mine made it, so uh, folks will be able to collect this. Uh, and they get a passport, and the goal is to venture out and visit each of these breweries throughout the week. So collect your stamp, uh, get it to go. Uh, and then come back. Uh, the first 25 people that bring it back with at least five stamps, um, we've got we've compiled these amazing swag bags full of fun stuff from each of the breweries, little fun gifts. Um, and then the, anyone that brings it back with at least five stamps, they'll be entered to win a drawing for a dinner for four here in Union. That's fantastic. And you said it's nine participating uh, in the passport. What? Run down them real quick. Awesome. So we got a lot of fun stuff. So. Um, the, the breweries that are participating, we've got Hopewell, Maplewood, Orknoy, Pilot Project, Mars, Middlebrow, Revolution, Solomoth, and Ravinia. And so each day of the week, uh, each brewery is going to be having you know some sort of a happening or a special or kind of a fun thing they're doing. Um, Maplewood's kicking it off uh, after us on Tuesday, where they're going to tap their barrel aged cuppa. Um, Hopewell's going that's their industry night, so they do five dollar um, slow pours or their first pills. On Wednesday, Revolution's tapping their rye dunkel. Uh, Orknoy's serving up dollar oysters oh, and uh, five dollar five dollar full pours. 
Pilot Projects got their uh, ten dollars flights that night as well. And they got an amazing patio out there for people who haven't been there, so oh, that's yeah. definitely something they got to check out. They're just making the rounds, right? Um, then on Thursday, Ravenia is doing a ten dollar uh, hazy flight special, so featuring uh, a bunch of their hazy beers. Mars has got their snack wave station open, and they are doing their uh, five dollar chug lifes that night. And then on Friday, to, to kind of round it out, Solomon is doing their. Um, uh, Beer Bang Bang Bingo, with is a collab with Bang Bang Pie and Biscuits, and then Middle Brow's uh, gonna tap their 21 Milk Age Mender, uh, and then a Fooder Aged uh, their neighborhood with uh, some Michigan peaches, and then they're actually doing something on their own. They're having a block party the next day, so it's kind of that like tail end kickoff. Like, let's, let's <laughs> that's a that's a great week in Chicago right there. Exactly, they're, it's it's they, their block party is going to be fun. It's not part of Beer Week, but uh, we encourage folks yeah, to. It's like the nice ramp up into it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that's fantastic, and uh, it goes along with the hours of the breweries. I'm I'm guessing when they walk through, so everything will be in the evenings. Um, so and and. Obviously, if you can't make it to specific events on those nights, but you're able to head to Maplewoods one day and then Salmo or Rev another day, um, you can get your you can get your passport stamped throughout the week. You know, whenever you visit. Uh, same thing here. If you come in and you missed our Monday party because you had something going on, come back into Union and get your stamp. Um, so it's a fun way to just continue to just draw interest and you know have people come in and drink beer and if, if people want information about more just more information about this whole thing it should go to your website how's that whole thing work sure folks can head to our website we can check out our instagram uh we'll be promoting this throughout the week uh instagram is a great way to, to check out the happenings of every what everyone's doing that night um the listing should be up on our website so yeah it's what are, what, what's the handle for the instagram and the website um, ours is Union Logan Square. Fantastic. Well, Steve, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I think I'm going to venture out and take a little stroll to give people a preview, but this is a great start. And I, I got my beer right here, which is fantastic. So thank you. So cheers and uh, happy beer week, man. That's yeah, great. Awesome. Thanks. Appreciate it. Absolutely. All right, as I walk my way through the Logan Square neighborhood, I'm at Armitage and Mozart at Middlebrow, and I am talking to Pete, who uh, runs this place, because why not? He's the guy to talk to for all things Middlebrow. How you doing, Pete? Hey, all right. How are you? I'm doing well. Are you excited about this whole beer week you guys have coming up here? Yeah, super excited. Yeah, we got um, uh, we, we got a couple of killer beers uh, coming up, stuff that we don't sell on a regular basis, um, a fooder-aged beer, um, the base beer of which uh, we, we ferment with yeast that comes from our garden. Um, treated with some peaches from our friends at Mick Luke Farm in Michigan. Oh, very cool. Uh, and, uh, and then we're also tapping a really special barrel-aged um, Imperial Milk Stout that we only, you know, we haven't made it since 2017, I believe. Yeah, 2017. So, so it's, it's been a little while. Little so that's, while. A, that's a special treat for this yeah, week. Yeah, very special. It's, it's, it's a beer that people uh, wait for us to tap. So this is a big moment for us. And they should stop here, obviously, because of this outdoor space. It's wonderful. I mean, this is something... Very cool, and you know, in the condensed neighborhood that is Logan Square, you got a little room to breathe here and hang out. But what else makes you guys super unique for people who are on this passport tour for Beer Week? Okay. Yeah, everything we do here uh, generally uh, revolves around um, fermentation. We're a fermentation heavy brewery. Uh, we, we focus on wild beers, um, but you know, our food um, sort of reflects that as well. We make sourdough pizza, um, sourdough bread, uh, you know, we house kombucha. We started making wine this year, so we have our own house-made wine. Awesome. Uh, yeah, a lot, a, lot of, a lot of special stuff going on here. And if people want to follow you guys on Instagram or anything like that, what's your social media handles or website? Yeah, we're at Middlebrow Beer and Wine and at Bungalow by Middlebrow. Fantastic. Well, thank you. thanks a lot. I know it's a busy night. I'll let you get back to it. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks to you. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so this is some of the fun stuff you get at Solomon's Brewery here on Armitage in Logan Square. And I'm going to talk to my friend Woody, who's all right here. Woody, how you doing, sir? What's up? I'm having a great Friday night. Absolutely, right, man? This is like beautiful weather. You guys, uh, I've never been here before, and I noticed that dogs are allowed in here, which is awesome. Oh, yeah. And that, I, I guess that's one of the things that makes you guys unique about stopping here along the whole Bar Week passport thing that people have going on. Yeah, so absolutely dog friendly. That is something that's really important to us. Everybody that works here, uh, most of us have dogs. We're all uh, big time dog lovers. Um, and there's not a lot of bars that are doing that anymore in the city. So, so that is something that definitely differentiates us uh, from the crowd and our stretch of Armitage here. And if uh, if you're talking to beer aficionados, when they are on this beer 
Passport Week for Beer Week here in Logan Square. Why should they make the stop here? What, what separates you guys from other breweries in the city? Absolutely. So uh, the best way to drink a quality Salamoth beer, particularly at Salamoth Still Life, is to walk up to the bar and ask your bartender what's fresh. We have fresh tappings almost every week, usually more than one a week. Uh, and so if you want a truly fresh product straight from the facility, this is going to be your best bet. What are you drinking right there? What do you got in your hand right oh. there? Let me, what, is, what is that right there? There's, there's nothing wrong with this. It's the iconic, classic Lou Kolsch, $4 every day. $4? $4, baby. Hell yeah. $4, yeah. Logan Square. That's a that's a night right there. You yeah. can you can get busy yeah. on a few of those. Yeah. What are your hours like here? Is it a differentiate during the week than on the weekends? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we're uh, 2 to 11 weekdays. Uh, and then Friday, Saturday, we're noon to 12. And social media handles, any of that good stuff? Uh, Salamoth Beer on Instagram. That's the best way to, to get a hold of any of our events. We try and throw a pretty crazy party. We do that, you know, a couple times a month anymore. Um, uh, that's the best way to get a hold of our beer releases. That's the best way to find out what's going on both in Naperville and here in the city. That's another thing that's exciting about us is we, we're a, you know, a dual facility. We're, 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 the, we're the little sister. We're the, the seedling from the tree out in Naperville. I dig, man. And I got to appreciate the music I've been playing in here since I've been here. It's good times. Good yeah. times all around. Well, happy weekend to you, sir. And good luck with the beer week coming up. Oh, thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Come through. All right, that's a lot of beer, but a good time here in Logan Square for the story from the 78. And like I said before, the 78 is a new neighborhood. That's why this is called Stories from the 78. Yes, traditionally 77 here in Chicago. But if you have a story about the 78 from a person or a place, give me a holler, Tom Barnes, Chicago at gmail.com. And this will be posted at storiesfromthe78.com. Have a good weekend.